So Anthony, would there have been an under-21 game against Tottenham on the Friday? I imagine some of your players who would have been playing against Leicester are going to go on that trip and get a really good experience? Yeah, it is. There's, um, there's a few of the second years who, who, who will make the squad for that and we haven't selected them yet. We've still got a couple of days worth of training to go uh, coming up on Thursday and obviously the match prep on Friday. But yeah, it'll be good experience for them to uh, to get in with uh, Martin Hunter and, and Raddy's squad. And that's the idea really is to push on those second years and first years if they're doing well to be able to go and get the experience and, and play in the 21s and hopefully impress and then hopefully kick on and push into the first team. I imagine those who are still going to be in your group can't wait to get back after a two-week break. Yeah, they are. I mean, they, a lot of those players played against Sparshold on the Friday uh, in a game that we won 6-1, which we would sort of expect to perform well in, and we did, and, and scored a few goals, which was nice. But had a, a decent team performance, working hard, and, and it was good for them to get some minutes in that game and really catch up on some time. Some of them haven't played a lot of time, unfortunately, but it was good for them to, to get in and, and play in that match. Did you like what you saw against Sparshold? Yeah, we did. We played well. Um, obviously, Sparshold are, are a different level. They're, they're still a college team, but we, um, yeah, we passed the ball uh, nicely through the thirds and um, pressed well from the front. So yeah, it was a positive performance. I imagine something like a six-one win against Sparshold would, you know, obviously fill the players with confidence going to this Leicester game. Yeah, of course. There are a few players who, who got on the score sheet. Um, Joe Lee scored two, and um, Marcus Barnes scored again, having come back from injury, which was good for him. Uh, Stu Wilkin got a goal, which was nice, and um, and I think Mark Irvine. And um, a couple others scored, so it was yeah, it was positive for them to get on the score sheet, which always fills you with confidence. I imagine as well with Joe Lee scoring, he scored twice and Wilkin once. I imagine you know that fills you with lots of confidence getting goals from midfield. Yeah, those two have been working hard um, in the week, and sometimes as a first year coming in, the, the physicality of the the step up from the under 16s is hard, and those two have, have probably found that a little bit. But they, they need to be patient and, and keep working hard and seeing if they can impact the game sort of in other ways. So it was yeah, they they both played played reasonably well that day so I was pleased for them. Has this break from the competitive fixture list been you know a welcome one you know so you can regroup and really you know build towards this weekend? Yeah I mean the positives for the group are that we we gave us a, a chance to sort of do a little bit with the first team there was a sort of a uh, an in-house uh, match which gave some players the opportunity to, to train with some of the first team squad members which was great for them to see what the level's like because that, that's the idea really regardless of uh, the matches the idea is to push them on into Martin's under 21 squad and then obviously into the first team as well so the more experience they can gain at that level and can see what it takes to, to make it there the, the, the better for them. Obviously the players can't wait for the game are you looking forward to this Leicester match as well? Yeah, of course. It's all nice to be back at home. Seems like a, a couple of weeks since we played a game, so I think we're unbeaten at home so far. So it'll be nice to get back on our own pitch and um, and hopefully have a good performance.